Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and we're at the National Publicity Summit here with Ellen Rohr. How are you? I'm great. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? So exciting. So much energy. So much energy, and I'm excited to refine my presentation, but to hear what other people are doing has been so interesting and, and so much energy. Well, I know that what you bring to the table is very interesting and very important these days, so take it away. Well, you know, it's tough out there. A lot of people are struggling. The least secure position is even having a job because you could still lose a job. I help people go from unemployed to self-employed over a weekend and be profitable making money on Monday. How do you do that? Well, you put a little plan together. You know, it's like if you don't know how to make money, you might struggle. Most businesses fail and 50% in the first year, 80% in the next few years. So a plan can help you get focused, get organized, and get profitable. So, so let's, you know, let's think about an example. Who okay. would come to you for help? Well, mostly people who've already started a business and now they're stressed. You know about workplace stress. Money problems cause stress. Right, they're waking up in the middle of the night, how do I make payroll? So most people who come and you know reach for my help already started a business and it's not doing so well. And how long ago may they have started their business? You know, some people have been struggling for 20 years. Family businesses, you know, that they just kind of were enslaved as their parents retired and they took over. So there, I think, you know, there are moments in someone's life when they just go, wait a minute, there's got to be more than this. So very often people who are ready for some kind of change really are a business planning moment is appropriate so they're really stuck yeah they don't know what else to do they call you what's your first approach to help them out well the first approach is let's make money most of the time people call me because money is the issue so it's kind of like as a doctor we might have to stop the bleeding or start the breathing you know you have to deal with the immediate issues so usually I want a business plan as fast as possible how can we make money what can you do that you can sell so the business planning process is just a matter of taking enough time out to figure out what do I want, what do I have to offer, why, who would buy it, do those people have money, right, and what could I do to market and get going by Monday. And the reason why I've shortened it is because I'm too old to waste time. We're all too old to waste time. If this is a good idea, you should be able to sell it. Tell me some of the most common pitfalls that you know make people feel this stuck in their businesses some of the most common things that you find absolutely now I went to school and I have a degree in business management they even teach you have to charge what the market will bear or what the going rate is the going rate is good for going down the drain if most businesses fail and they do if you start your business and then copy your competitors you're all just chasing each other off the cliff so the idea that you have to charge the going rate I think is one of the biggest myths out there why do you have to charge the going rate? Starbucks didn't charge the going rate, and now they're one of the number one brands. So be willing to consider how much you need to charge and what you would have to do to be worth that. Now for most folks, I deal with a lot of contractors, I say show up clean, sober, on time, and dressed right and you can charge five times what your competition is charging. Lovely. Anything that easy? Easy. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> uh, what would you suggest um, someone who has been struggling for a while and now you realize that they're kind of giving up? Well, when I hear this, this is like a trigger for me, when I hear, Ellen, you don't understand how much time and energy I've put into this. This has to work. I say, well, it doesn't have to work. It's like a car. Your business is like a car. You could fix it. You could sell it. You could abandon it, you could go get another one, but it's not you. So when there's too much of an attachment to this business as me, I find that those people are the hardest ones to get unstuck. So I try and help them find the separation between themselves and their business. Lovely. Can you give us two or three tips that could, people could implement right here and now? Well, the very my favorite exercise in the, the weekend biz plan is the perfect life exercise. Now this isn't strictly a business exercise and you wouldn't necessarily show this to your banker. But I call the perfect life, think about what you want out of life and take yourself through the perfect day. What time would you wake up? With whom? You know, what would you do first thing? Would you have breakfast? Would you go for a run? Would you work? You know, what would you do at work? What is the favorite thing that you would do? And to kind of mock up your life and then see how a business could fit in that. If you determine that your favorite thing at work is helping you know, young people get a business off the ground, 
you know, I love that. Young at heart people. So that's that's what I should be doing. Now, can I create a business that's going to allow me to do what I really, really want to do? You get to do what you want to do, and you, ha you can make money doing it. It's lovely. How can people get a hold of you? Well, come to my website, barebonesbiz.com, and we'll make a money. Can I give one more tip? Of course. This, if you're writing something down, write this down. You've got to charge more than it costs. <laughs> Lovely, yes. You yeah. can't no. need money. You see, business is easy. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. So, again, the website? Thanks. Barebonesbiz.com. You can find, um, uh, we've got a little gift. The weekend biz plan is available there, and we'll help you out. Lovely. Oh, it's B-A-R-E-B-O-N-E-S-B-I-Z.com. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Great to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. Thank you.